the title of this writing is Pushing On. What makes us push on when every shred of evidence indicates we are wrong? Is it stupidity, being bullheaded, stick to blind faith, or something else? I don't have an answer, only the practice of pushing on against the current. It's not an easy choice. It's fraught with headwinds, brick walls, no results, and ridicule, yet we push on. Is it a fear of losing or denial that we've lost? I'm reminded of the words of legendary football coach Vince Lombardi regarding a loss his team just endured. He said, we didn't lose, we just ran out of time. For the most part, I don't think we accept loss well and dress it up in other clothes and pretend it's something else. Yet, Thomas Edison pushed on past the point where most of us would have given up. He had more than hope pushing him forward. What is that intangible? I wish I could answer that question and identify that which has us push on in spite of overwhelming odds. It would be a major discovery. I guess I'm not the only one asking the question about pushing on. Theologian Reinhold Niebuhr, in his quest to know, offered us the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. It's the difference we all wrestle with. My sense is the wisdom does not come from our intellect, otherwise we would have given up long time ago. After all, the facts are the facts. The wisdom to push on comes from somewhere else. I don't think I'll ever get to name that place. I only hope to discover it. If you're pushing on, the only comfort I can offer you is that you're not alone. The difference we're looking for has a distinction, and it's that sought-after distinction that will determine if we push that light switch on or off. May the force be with you. All the best, John.